welcome to Passionately Intrigued Arts with Tracy. We're going to create a bib pattern and then begin to sew it. I used a mailing envelope, sized it 9 by 12, cut it out, and then I used my laminating machine to seal it so that I can reuse it over and over. You can also add inches to the top and bottom to make this big larger if you'd like. This laminating machine is great for keeping your patterns together crisp and from falling apart. After it comes out of the machine I get a pair of scissors and trim the excess away from the pattern. Lay it on this Dollar Tree flannel baby blanket. Trace it out, cut it, and now I'm going to place a sublimated image that I have created on the front side of this bib. I will be using my Easy Press. I have set it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I have taken two pieces of heat tape just to hold it down so that the image does not ghost or move. These baby blankets are 100% polyester to sublimate on. It turned out great. Now we'll take it over to the sewing machine. I'll put the two pieces of material together with pins and then begin to sew a quarter inch seam all around the bib, leaving an opening at the end so that I can turn it right side out. Now I'm just clipping darts in the curved edges of the bib and I will be clipping those also around the tops of the straps and then at the bottom of the bib where there are curves. This will help so that it's not so bulky when I turn it right side out. I left about a three inch opening to make it easy to turn it right side out. 
and just gather the material and push it through. Now roll the edges, flatten and smooth it out, pulling the material all the way to the seam. I will take it to the iron and press this quarter inch seam towards the inside. And then I'm going to sew across this opening very close to the edge of the bib and go all the way around with this seam. I grab a scrap piece of material, fold it in half, and then I'm going to sew straight down about a half an inch, a little less than a half an inch, about a quarter inch, all the way down. I will be making a loop for a button. Just trim the excess material close to the stitch and then I'll cut the top part and the bottom part of this loop for the correct size of the button. I'll place it on one end of the bib, one strap, fold it over and sew it down. Trim off the excess close to the stitching. And of course I'm always trimming off the stray strings as I go. I found a cute odd shaped pink button in my stash that I will be hand sewing on to the other strap of the bib. There you go, voila, it fits. The baby bib is complete. It turned out really cute. I like it and I hope who I gifted to likes it as well. The sublimation is beautiful. And it really stands out on this repurposed baby blanket from the Dollar Tree. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Be blessed and have a great day.